Hi there folks, I'm Rob the Hiker, and unfortunately I was not able to do my gear test video this week because the guy I was going to be going hiking with got sick and isn't able to make it, so I guess I'm just going to rehydrate some of this food in my backyard here on my little picnic table. So you guys will get to watch me do that in just a second. We're going to do my spaghetti with meat sauce today, so stick around. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here to get this going, just turn the gas on. And there we go. Now this thing will boil this in about five minutes. We tested that out on that last gear test video, so I know that it's not gonna take it very long to boil, but in I guess about five minutes I will see you guys when I put the water in the food. See you in a sec. But actually while this is boiling we're going to talk here for a second. Um, so I don't know exactly how much water to put in these and for future meals when I'm actually vacuum sealing them I'm going to be using my kitchen scale and weighing the food before I put it in the dehydrator and then weighing it after I pull it out of the dehydrator to see just how much water has been removed from it. Sorry about that. Anyway, we're gonna put the food on the scale to find out how much water's been removed from it. And there goes the helicopter overhead. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. So I'm gonna put this on the scale to take the weight of it before I put it in the dehydrator. And then I'm gonna put it on the scale again after it comes out of the dehydrator to find out what the difference is and that will tell me how much water I need to add to my meals when I've actually got them in my vacuum sealed packages. And I will probably include little cardboard cutouts in those so that I know exactly how much water to add. But that's all I wanted to let you guys know for the moment. And this water's almost ready, so I will see you guys in just a second. Okay folks, the water is now boiling. So we're going to take the lid off the top of this. We're going to turn off the gas. And you can hear the water boiling right there. I'm gonna open up my bag. I'm gonna carefully pour the hot water into the Ziploc bag. And take a look at how much that is. And we'll add a little bit more water than that. And that's all the water that we put in there, so hopefully that's enough. We're going to seal the Ziploc bag again to try and keep all that moisture in there. And we're going to mix this sauce up. And then we let it sit here for about 15 minutes. And once it's done, then we get to eat. All right, folks, the food's just about done. As you can see, I think I've got the water amount just about right on that one. Needed roughly four cups of water for this two person meal right here. So I'm guessing my one person meals will take about two cups of water. We can hope anyway. But yeah, give this about another five minutes or so and I should be able to eat it. This is a two person package, so I'm probably not gonna be able to finish this entirely by myself, but that's okay. Like I said, these are test packages. They are not the food I'm taking with me to Iceland. Those will be put into vacuum sealed bags, but we're gonna taste this in a little bit here and see how good it tastes. <clears throat> All right, so my food's done. I've got a spaghetti with meat sauce here. Looks pretty tasty. Let's see what it tastes like. Not bad. I think it could probably use a little salt and pepper, but that's just spices, I mean. Overall, the consistency turned out pretty good. I think I might have been able to leave it sit maybe another five minutes to rehydrate a little more, but all in all, I'd say this is a pretty good meal. I think this one's a win. I'm keeping this one, and I'll probably be eating this again on the hike around Iceland. So I guess I will see you all in the next video.